Hey guys, Ryan's almost here. He's like three minutes away. I'm so excited. I can't believe he's moving to New York. It's awesome. Welcome back to another vlog, another moving vlog, if you will. Taking a ginger shot. It's a Saturday morning. Let's get the day started. On a random walk with Brooke. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Look at all these flowers headed to Starbucks. Just stopped by Juicy Lucy. I came here with my parents. Brooke and I got coffees, and then I got a green juice. So did Brooke. Yeah, healthy fun. gals. Guys, I literally rolled out of bed and I was like, Danielle, I need Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I didn't prep it. So, good morning. I like took one clip and then I had to walk to FedEx to pick yeah. up. Um, I'm like renting a storage unit in my apartment and I have to like do a separate lease for that. Oh, is that what that is? Yes. Oh. It feels like falls in the air. It does. Don't want to jinx. Okay, so I'm back now from my walk with Brooke. I realized I didn't like fully into this vlog. What's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Living in New York is just a whirlwind. Like, I am just constantly like, I need to learn how to say no again. This is getting an issue because I just want to see everybody, but it's like, okay, I'm not on vacation here. Like now I live here so I can just, you know, I can pace myself out, but it's so exciting. So we'll just ride this high until I get over it. So today's the day Brian moves to New York City. Such an exciting day. Um, he should be here by now. <laughs> so I wake up at like 8 a.m. and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's about to board or I think he was about to take off. I think his flight is at like 8.20. You know, I look over on my phone, I'm expecting all these texts, you know? like boarding whatever see you soon and his parents were also going to the airport at the same time because they were going somewhere as well so he just planned a flight around their time so they could all go together he could say goodbye to them it's really cute idea anyways i wake up no text from him i'm a little worried go on find my friends and i see that he's still home so i'm like oh no what happened did he leave his phone at home maybe he didn't update like my mind's spiraling and i'm just worried for him they were supposed to leave the house at 4 a.m to be fair and ryan was going early because their flight was earlier and he was just going to go with them and i guess his dad tried so hard to get him up and he was like just so tired and shoved him a couple times and then they left i don't really know um so ryan missed his flight <laughs> I was like, Ryan, oh my god. But, um, so then they're in, sh they like landed at their layover and they're like, oh my gosh, we're not home. I'm like, of course, freaking out. Like, is he like okay? Everything. Finally, um, he FaceTimes me, just dying, laughing, drinking coffee. He's like, well, <laughs> missed my flight. And he was just in good spirits about it. And it's fine because I was kind of overwhelmed. So Ryan's flying into New York today. He can't move into his apartment until Wednesday, but he's been working on the weekdays, obviously. And he didn't want to be you know, flying on a day he has to work. So he's coming to stay with me for a couple nights. I'm really excited about it. Um, and he was gonna like be here already. And honestly, I wanna edit a video. I wanna um, get my, I just got a lamp for my living room and I have light bulbs for it and everything. I wanna put that together um, and just, you know, make it look good for when he gets here. He literally probably doesn't care. And then my friend Morgan FaceTimed me and was like, do you wanna go to brunch? I'm like, oh, it's Saturday. Like, I just can't say no to things. I'm just, but this is good. That means there's tons of opportunities here. I'm so happy to be here. Like, it's just so crazy how many friends that I have that live here. I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful. I know I keep saying that, but I really am. Like, this is just so crazy I'm living here. I don't know when it'll hit. But last night we went to dinner for Keaton's birthday. That was in my last vlog. So much fun. I came back at like midnight though, cause I was like, oh, Ryan's gonna be here in the morning. Like, I wanna wake up early. <laughs> He's just not here. He so he just called me. I literally was like he didn't know what to do He was looking at flights. He didn't know what to do So finally he was like I'm just gonna go to the airport and talk to someone there because by the time he'd get to the airport Like he like by the time he'd like book flights online. I don't know. It was just whatever So he just went and went up to Delta I told him well, just go to the customer service desk at Delta at the airport and say I'm moving to New York City today. I missed my flight I didn't get to say goodbye to my parents like he literally didn't get to say goodbye to his parents because he was not asleep, I feel so bad. And like, he must have been in a really deep sleep because I've been able to like wake him up. Long story short, the guy at Delta indeed felt bad for him and just made him pay for like his bags and he just got a new flight. But now he has like a connection in Ohio or something. But he's at the airport right now and he'll be here around 6.40. That's when he lands at LaGuardia. So I have lots of time to get stuff done. So yeah, that's how my morning's going. It's very chaotic, but this whole New York move is chaotic in the best way. So yeah, welcome to another vlog. It's gonna be a fun one. Ryan's moving to New York. My boyfriend, if you guys didn't know, he got a job here. Probably know that by now, but yeah. 
Also, this is the juice that I got from Juicy Lucy today. Last time I tried the Easy Green, so today we're trying the Daily Green. I've been convinced. It just changed really quick, so I felt like I was too casual. So my friend Morgan and my friend Luke, who's gonna be one of Ryan's roommates actually, they're already here and they're, they wanna get lunch at this place called The Black Ant. Um, and it's literally like 10 minute walk from me. So I think I'm just gonna go, I need to eat and then come back and edit again. Um, I just got off the phone with Ryan. He's about to board his first flight, so that's good. This is my little outfit. I'm not proud of it at all, but I felt like, I don't know what this place is like, but I didn't wanna wear like a workout set. So I'm just wearing this little tank from Aritzia. Jeans are from Dish, I love them. And then it's like a little chilly out and I wanted some pink. Everyone liked my little pink and green moment this morning when I posted it on my Instagram story. This is from Zara, my All Saints sneakers. Okay, let's go. All right, Luke picked out this great place, Black Am, here with the buds. Yum, love it. Oh my gosh, you guys, we freaking did it. I've been sitting here editing for two hours and I got it done. I was like, I will get these moving vlogs done because I have already three and this is my fourth one. Um, I'm just calling them moving vlogs because I'm like still doing stuff to my apartment or Ryan's coming, like whatever. So with that being said, while you're watching this, if you are not subscribed to me already, click that little button down below so you guys are notified every time I post a video. For reference though, I do post every Wednesday and Sunday, um, so you can always look forward to a new video. And I have a podcast with my best friend Burke, who I was with this morning, called Gals on the Go. And it's gonna, the podcast is just obviously gonna be better since we're here together. Like it's just... We have so many stories, <laughs> so um, yeah. So while this video is exporting, I don't have Wi-Fi still. I'm not getting Wi-Fi until Tuesday. Ryan just texted me, he's on his second flight now um, to New York. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, I, I, want, I haven't seen him in so long. I wanna like look cute. Not that he literally cares at all, but I just, you know, want to. And I wanna put together this lamp. I wanna do some things. I wanna clean a little bit. Again, he really doesn't care. He's just excited to be here. But um, I know once he gets here, I'm gonna like wanna hang out with him and whatever, you get it. So I got this beautiful floor lamp from West Elm. It wasn't necessarily in the plans when I was talking with Sierra, um, my interior designer, um, because I was just like, I don't really want a lamp. However, didn't know I didn't have any overhead lighting. Love natural lighting, I'd prefer it, but you know, it does get dark at night. <laughs> um, so this is gonna fit perfectly here with my couch. We measured it and everything once my couch eventually comes. I'm, by the way, I'm getting a couch and a chair that's gonna go over there. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Furniture just takes forever, five ever. <laughs> um, so yeah, it doesn't look just like this. I have to put in the light bulbs and then I have these big bulbs over there that are gonna go on top. So I'm gonna put this together now really quick. Um, and then I also need to make my bed. I mean, that'll take five seconds. And then hopefully Ryan will be in the mood to go out tonight because all my friends want to meet him and see him and I got one of these white vetiver reed diffusers. I have one in my room at home and it seriously works. I will link it down below. They have other scents too. Um, they actually sell, sell these at Nordstrom as well. I think I want to keep this one in my bathroom. It just smells like a nice hotel and that's kind of just the vibes I'm going for. Um, so yeah, these look truly work too. Give it a little bit. The scent diffuses through the sticks. Yay! <laughs> My lamp is up. I'm so proud of this. It was actually kind of confusing um, how to like get the bulb and the like other thing around it with the script. But hey, I did it without help. Kind of reminds me of the old one I used to have in my Athens apartment, but a lot less bulky and annoying. So yeah, that's cute. I'll link the lantern down below. Lantern, the lights, those are the lanterns. Um, but yeah, I guess I just do that. Nice. All right, I've cleaned as best I can. Um, made my bed. I'm gonna, I know Ryan's coming in hot with like th three or four suitcases, or three suitcases, I think. So we're gonna have to, it's gonna be a little bit cluttered having him here, <laughs> but it's all good. So say goodbye to my peaceful zen. It's gonna be a mess, I just know it. He just landed, I'm so excited. I haven't seen him in literally six weeks. Okay guys, Ryan's almost here. He's like three minutes away. I'm so excited. I can't believe he's moving to New York. It's honestly kind of fun that he's staying with me first and then moving because then we can just like spend more time together because he's busy with his job for sure. I just showered and fixed my hair a little bit, but I'm just not putting on makeup right now and I just put this back on because it's comfy um, because I'm trying to gauge his interest in going out tonight or like what he wants to do because I know he's had a very long day. Um, 
So yeah, then I'll like get ready and stuff. And I kind of want to upload my video so I could go to the lounge and upload that and use their Wi-Fi. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Literally the next clip, you guys, is going to be with Ryan. <laughs> Look who's here. <laughs> he made it. Hello. He's here. He's dressed in New York attire. He's like, I feel like everyone wears like dark things here. Yep. Black shirt. Yep. Dark pants. <laughs> How do you like the apartment? Do we like good. it? good. It's big. Really nice. I don't know, and then we get to move you in on Wednesday? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Exciting stuff. Fun. So he's already making himself at home. Oh my god, you had a... <laughs> I'm in my room. <laughs> I'm in my room for one second. He's like, I guess I'll just unpack my things. I'm like, literally, guys, look at this. <laughs> he has clothes in here, shoes down there. Moves into his own apartment Wednesday, but he must be at home here. It's very sweet. Yay. <laughs> what are you about to do now? Um, what were you doing over there? Gonna make a little shake. Yeah, we're a little creatine. You know, gotta do it every day. <laughs> so yeah, the plan is you can go now. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna put on some shoes, get my bag. We're both hungry. We're gonna walk to find some dinner somewhere, and then we'll come back for a little bit, take some fireball shots. Um, Katie's having a little pregame at her apartment. We're gonna go there and Brooke's going and um, some of my friends from high school might come too because then we're going to this like bar after called Miss You um, that her friend like rented out or something. So the plan was just made for us. We also should go to that one in one pub. That was so much fun. One in one? One in one. I don't know. We'll see how the night goes, but we're transferring to my phone now because I don't want to break my camera tonight. Not that I plan to, but we just don't want that to. <laughs> oh, also, little outfit of the day featuring Ryan's duffel bag. Top is from Princess Polly, very fun. And then jeans are a gold day. And then the shoes will probably do Air Force Ones. Updates to come. First stop, pizza. <laughs> hey guys, so reporting live from the Lower East Side. New York's good, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, literally this feels like downtown Athens. There's so many people trying to get home from the bars. I'm hungry. Ryan, did you have fun? I had a great time. Ryan and I are about to head out for smoothies, but I said let's take some ginger shots before we go for a walk. <laughs> Up and at him. Also, I can't remember if I showed you guys this, but um, Ryan's fully moved in. We've got some family photos, George Strait, football helmet, shoes. <laughs> oh, like home. and can't forget a picture of him and his sister by the coffee machine. <laughs> Your head's like that. Why are you just holding it like that? <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Okay, cheers, go. Easy, buddy. Yeah, it burns after. Alright, we're gonna go walk to get a smoothie. This is what I'm wearing. Black tank. Blue shorts. And Ryan's. Oh my gosh, you're wearing a brave shirt in New York town. This is gonna be funny. <sighs> Taking picture of your food over there? Phone, <laughs> Phone eats first. Got smoothies. I got. I built my own. I'm really liking this Essex squeeze place. Brooke and I came last week. And it's really cool up here to be able to sit, like those big windows. A nice spot. A great lunch spot, too. Got groceries, planned some meals, and realized I don't have a pot. <laughs> I was planning on buying those online, so we went to Target next door. Got a $16 little pot. We can make our rice, our pasta. I already have pans and stuff and colanders. I just didn't have a pot. We were spending a lot of time at Trader Joe's. <laughs> yeah, Ryan likes Trader Joe's now. He never went at, in college, but the prices are really great. <laughs> so. <laughs> Giggle time! No, I love it. It's so real. Kenzie Hello. came over to hang and meet Ryan, so yep. we're all just chilling on my little chairs. I'm like, have a seat. I feel like we're interviewing you or something. <laughs> I know. I'm not right here. Hi guys. 
guys, I haven't really vlogged today, but last night was so much fun. I guess I didn't really say that. It was so much fun. Um, this morning, as you guys saw, we got up, we went and got smoothies at Essex Market, really cool spot. And then Ryan just got here, and I haven't really picked what my grocery store is gonna be. Like, I obviously love Trader Joe's, but like back in college, I would go to like a traditional grocery store that has like other brands, and then I'd also do Trader Joe's. But honestly, the closest one really is Trader Joe's, and then obviously like your local bodegas. I don't know, so I haven't really bought a ton of groceries yet because I've been doing a lot of socializing this week, lots of eating out. I've just honestly been eating out mostly, as you guys saw. So Ryan comes in today and he's like, no, we're going to go shopping, we're gonna plan some meals because he's trying to figure, he moves into his apartment on Wednesday and he's trying to figure out what his grocery store is gonna be and he really liked Trader Joe's, which is exciting. Um, it's really inexpensive, it's so great if you're post-grad, like, I don't Brady know. Calling Who's calling me? Brady. Oh, wow, my brother. Anyways, Kenzie came over for a little bit, it was really fun, um, I wanted her to meet Ryan and she leaves back home for Dallas tomorrow. So that's that. I'm just unboxing this pot that I bought from Target because tonight we're cooking. It's the first time I'm like truly cooking a, a meal meal here so I'm pretty pumped about it. Tonight we're just going simple. We're just gonna do rice, chicken, rice, and broccoli. Um, which is just it's a staple, it's delicious, easy. Ryan's like a pro at cooking chicken so. And I guess I didn't do like a grocery haul for you guys but I just, I didn't get anything really cool or, you know, just the norm. Nice candlelit dinner. Yep. Look at us. First dinner. First dinner. I've got the artwork going on the TV, so it's the only thing we can do. <laughs> Dishes are done. Such a satisfying feeling. I haven't cooked in here yet, I know. Well, I've made breakfast, but that was just such a fun little evening. Ryan's trying to find a good gym that he can start working <laughs> at. Guys, so my fridge was brand new and it came with these things, and I feel like it's not for ice. I really think it's for eggs, so I'm gonna put some of my eggs in here. Put all my eggs in one basket, all right? <laughs> Ryan and I are considering going up to the lounge to use Wi-Fi since I don't have it still, and do some work. This is so cute, I have my eggs in here. Just got back from a nice long walk. This is cracking me up. Making some sleepy time tea. Ryan's got a bubbly. We went and bought some sparkling waters. And we're gonna go, he's got his backpack. We're gonna go up to the lounge and just kind of like set the tone for the week. On a Sunday night, look at everything we have to do. and yeah. Get your ducks in a row. Get your ducks in a row. So we're gonna go up there for a little <laughs> bit. And they do have a TV I could like log into my Netflix if I wanted. Or, and it's the only place that has Wi-Fi. And it's the only place that has Wi-Fi. <laughs> we do not have Wi-Fi in here, so. Cozy. Lounge vibes. Ryan drinks his coffee black and it's so impressive to me. First day flip New York. Woo! <laughs> so every morning for the last few months, Ryan's been doing egg flips. And on Fridays, they're crazy ones. Yeah, so, oh, let's. My phone. And then he does ice in his veins longer. right after. No, that was great. Good job. Good job. First egg flip in New York. <laughs> New York. A little oatmeal morning, berries. Ryan's playing with the new toaster. <laughs> Ryan's getting ready for work. <laughs> He's just going up to the lounge to use that Wi-Fi because I don't have any here and he works from home currently, so. Yep. Guy on the go. Yep. Banana in pocket. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's been such a nice change of pace having him here. It's so fun, so chill. Um, we cooked last night, obviously, and then we just had a morning, we had breakfast, coffee. Well, I haven't had coffee yet. Um, and then he had to get right upstairs to work. Um, I have a pretty full day. <laughs> I showed Ryan the TikTok sound, because he's not on TikTok, but the TikTok sound of like, what I feel like this is so proper. The TikTok sound of like, I think it's Chloe Kardashian to Scott, and she goes, I have a really busy week. Like, this Thursday, Vegas Friday, spray tan at noon, it's really filling up. Like, obviously it's not the things I'm doing, but it's like, Ryan has to like go do FinTech things, and I'm like, I'm going to record a podcast. I mean, I'm not downplaying at all. I'm really proud of what I do, but it's just, it was just a funny moment that we shared. I'm going to Brooke's apartment at 11, 
because I obviously don't have Wi-Fi. So we're gonna record the podcast at her place and we have a lot to discuss. We have some fashion week stuff coming up. We have a Gals in the Go shoot we're doing. We have to get all of our outfits for that. Um, and we're planning some segments. So I'll be at Brooks probably till like three or four, honestly. And then I have a call with um, Elizabeth from Stylist Check. I want her help for fashion week because obviously you gotta up my game. Ryan was like, visit me in between when you're back. So I'll go up before I leave and then when I come back, like I'll just go say hi to him periodically because you know, I'm such a good girl. I'm trying to have oatmeal for breakfast more because it's definitely filling and it's pretty nutritious. So I'm like over here like dreading finishing it. Cause it's just, it's not bad, it's just bland. And I don't know, I don't think I like the Trader Joe's oats as much as I do. Publix ones or whatever I had at home. I'm gonna shower and get in an outfit and go for a walk to the bank, come back, get myself in good brooks. All right, fam, let's get this day started. All right, you guys, here is a little outfit of the day. Um, decided to put on makeup because I always am in this like half mode where I like wanna wear a cute outfit but then no makeup. And then I just don't feel like I'm wearing cute outfit at all, so I put on makeup. If anyone goes through that, let me know. Shirt is from Evolve, it's part of a two-piece set. I had the biker shorts on, but I was just like, nah. I wanna wear some trousers. These are from Princess Polly, I love them. We'll link top and bottoms down below. I'm wearing my Adidas sneakers. Oh my gosh, I forgot what they're called. I used to wear them all the time. My Stodd moon bag. Hair is still from last week. <laughs> I went to the dry bar with Brooke last Friday, so still riding that blowout out. Um, jewelry normal, <laughs> I can't stop doing that. This necklace though is from Orium Collective. And yeah, we're gonna go bother Ryan, say goodbye to him, go to the bank, maybe get a coffee because I'm tired, and then um, go to Brooke's. Also, the Target was right there and I wanted to go yesterday, just didn't have time. I needed Tupperware because Ryan and I are cooking now, which is exciting, which means we have leftovers for lunch and stuff, but I don't have any Tupperware. I did buy saran wrap so I can put over the bowls, but I only have four bowls. So, um, this is a great little set here from Target. I like barely squeezed it in this bag. And now I'm gonna head over to Brooks and we're gonna record Gals on the Go and um, do some work on some other things. And then I'll come back and then I'll go to Midtown <laughs> to do this. I wanna like do something else while I'm there. I'm very, like I don't wanna go all the way there, just return that and then come back. I was gonna go to Starbucks and I was like, there are so many coffee shops in New York City, why would I do that? I mean, I will continue to go to Starbucks, but I wanted to try some near me. So I stopped at Devel on Suffolk. I'm enjoying it, it's a cute little spot and I got an iced latte, iced oat milk latte. Because I don't know why I find that at coffee shops. I don't like the cold brew or the iced coffee. It's too strong and bitter. Whereas, what's that noise? I'm not, I'm not used to all the beeps in my apartment yet. Oh, I need to like make food. I'm gonna get hungry. I just don't like iced coffee from coffee shops usually. So I'm gonna pack my bag and we'll go to Brooks and probably laugh a lot and just be so fun. Gonna make a bagel because that oatmeal was simply not enough. Um, I'll link this toaster down below, it's on Amazon and I love it so much. <laughs> All right, so when I got back, I noticed I had a big brown mark or like blackish brown mark on my butt. So that means I've just been walking around the city of New York with just what looks like not cute. Then as I'm walking out the door, I noticed like this huge red mark. Basically, I am never leaning against anything again. I think it's because I leaned against this pole at a crosswalk, which is such an amateur move of me. I'm learning, okay? So, switch into these pants. I don't like it as much, but it's fine. They're also from Princess Polly. I like the pants. I just feel like they're a little bit more dressy. All right, you guys, the setup is real. It's Sorry, pod time. <laughs> I'm so excited, this is gonna be so much fun. This week's episode on Gals on the Go is just gonna be a recap. Like literally we had a shared notes document of like. It's been like three weeks though of catch up though if you think about it because I kinda just gave, we both gave like 
Right yeah, now, like, just like when nobody moved here. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I did a solo, she did a solo, and now we're back together. It's always like the gals are back. This is like our last time. We I know, say. every single time. It's the back, they're back. They're, they're back. back. <laughs> now we're really back and we're staying. That's why we have to call something other than they're back. But yeah, we'll have to think of a good title. So that will definitely be up by the time you guys are watching this. So go listen to our podcast, Go Listen to Go. Yeah. Woo, let's record. Okay, hey, we've changed again, got back, had lunch. Brooke and I had another call. Um, Brooke and I got a lot done today. The episode's really good. I went upstairs, said hey to Ryan, and he informed me that my pants are see-through. So, didn't know that. So, here we are changing again. We'll also just wear dark underwear, TMI. So, we have switched into jeans and this black top, kind of my go-to uniform. Same sneakers. We're headed to Midtown to drop off my lease for my storage apartment, and my and Delaney's mom and friends are here. And if the timing works out right, I'll like meet up with them for a little bit because I love her mom and her friends. They're all so cool, so fun. So I think they're literally staying in Times Square. So we're gonna venture it up there. Just dropped off the papers. Walking is so hot. Headed to Times Square, baby. Meeting up with them. They want to get a drink. I have no business drinking right now. But um, we'll see how it goes. I'll probably just get like a beer. You know, big beer gal over here. But, whew, it's so hot. Jeans and a black shirt were not necessarily the move, more so like a bathing suit. But it's kept, respect. Just a girl in her kombucha. <laughs> Made it to Times Square. Listening to the Annie soundtrack right now, no joke. All right, you guys, I'm finally back. I took the train back from Times Square, so it took a moment, but we're here. We're back, Ryan just came downstairs. He's done for the day. Yeah, probably. Yay. Anyways, we're making pasta, and that's why I turned on the camera to tell you guys, Ryan's about to go join a new gym. He's excited, and wait, you don't want the turkey meatballs right now? Yeah, don't, why wouldn't Oh, I thought you said like, I'll have the meatballs later. Oh. We're doing, we're going simple tonight because last night we did like broccoli, go us. <laughs> we're doing Trader Joe's turkey meatballs, vodka sauce, so good, and penne that's in there with the one pot I have. So. Playing Trattoria Italian playlist on Spotify. <laughs> Cheers! Brian just left, he's going to the gym. He's like signing up for his gym membership and he's gonna work out at the same time. I'm happy for him because he was like really worried because he always had this gym in Athens and in Atlanta that he always went to and he was just hoping he'd find something that he liked and he did so I'm happy for him. It's like his passion so you know. So he went so now I have the apartment to myself. I mean he's literally moving into his own apartment on Wednesday but we have been together like constantly. So um, I've been out literally all day. I'm a mess. I'm sweaty. I'm gross and the last few days I just like haven't been as clean. And he has his stuff here too, obviously, so I can't like get too nitpicky like he has his stuff here. Um, but he literally will go to the gym for like an hour and a half, two hours. He'll be there for a minute. So I need a shower. I feel disgusting. You guys know, two to three showers a day here in New York. Put the food away, clean up, load the dishwasher. Ryan unloaded it earlier, which was a really sweet surprise. Um, take some boxes to the trash. Yeah, we're just gonna... I still haven't unpacked. I know. I know. It's not the best thing in the world, but. Okay, I'm gonna turn the light on. Oh, I have red on. I'm gonna switch to white because I need to stay awake. And then Ryan was like, we could go upstairs and watch a movie in the lounge. That lounge is our best friend because it has Wi Fi up there, it has a TV, everything. But oh, today was just such a fun day. Like meeting with Delaney's mom and her friends. We literally went to Bubba Gump, you guys. We just like went somewhere in Times Square. They got me a beer and I just chatted with them. They're so fun. Like moms always hype you up too. Like they're the best. They were so sweet. Let's clean and have a self-care night. Hi guys. So I cleaned, I showered, I talked to my dad for a little bit. Ryan just got back from the gym. Did you like your gym experience? Mm -hmm. He's happy with it. Oh yeah. Do you feel like you're cheating on crunch? Yep. <laughs> well, I dumped crunch, right? You dumped crunch, yeah, you didn't cheat, you dumped. And I'm just drinking some sleepy time tea and wash some grapes and some dessert. <laughs> and I think in a little we're gonna go up to the lounge, our favorite spot, 
and watch some Netflix. Always, if you guys have any recs to watch something with your boyfriend, like that a guy and a girl would like, hit me up. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Oh, I thought you were you were giving recommendations. No, no, uh, I uh, love taking their recommendations. Yeah, really? Okay. Dan Pam comes in hard with the rest. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, and we're gonna start a new one tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you guys are new here. So many more New York vlogs to come. I just found out that more furniture is coming next week. My bed frame, my accent chair. And I, that's a story. I say to Ryan, oh, my accent chair's coming. He goes, your chair has an accent? <laughs> so pure. So yeah, more furniture next week, which will be exciting. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Love you guys so much. Subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.